All right, guys, today we're here at the Alchemist Garden in downtown Paso Robles. Super stoked to be checking out this establishment. We're going to be talking shop with Tony Bennett, one of the owners, going over the bar menu, the food menu, talking about the cool things they've done here in this amazing establishment. Come on inside and check her on out. Hi, my name's Jay Bond. I run the Bond Real Estate Group. I made it my mission to showcase all the eateries, bars, wineries, and everything else the slow has to offer. Join me for the slow spotlight. here at Alchemist Garden with my main man, Tony, one of the owners here. Good to see you again, brother. Good to see you, Jay. Excited to see what you guys got going on. I know this has kind of been a nice evolution um, and I'm sure everyone has a lot of questions. I do and I want to hear, of course, one, you know, just the, the premise, the methodology behind what you guys are doing here, and then of course, just the interesting start that you guys had and kind of where things are led to now. Yeah, uh, it's been a whirlwind. <laughs> we've, uh, right. We got a chance to open our, our dream bar mm -hmm. project that we've all been talking about together with uh, Alex and Andrew and then Doran and Nona were like a really big part of making this happen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And it all kind of began in 2019. Yeah, 2020 is when it just happened to kind of go full swing and mm -hmm. we managed to, to kind of make it through all the rings of fire and we're open. Resilient. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're, we're yeah, here, yeah. we're open today. <laughs> It's, it's, it's been fun, and I mean, we all have a lot of experience in the industry, sure. running different bars, programs, hotel mm -hmm. side, mm -hmm. restaurant side. Uh, the cocktails have always been our big forte. Mm -hmm. So for us, this is a dream that we'd had for the last 10 years of being friends with each other. Yeah. Uh, to think how far it's come and three years ago, if I was to say, we're gonna own our own place, mm -hmm. I'd go, that sounds like a nice dream, but I'm yeah. like, wouldn't seeing this reality. All come to fruition and become a yeah. reality. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. It's, uh, it's, it's been incredible. So one thing I've heard you mention multiple times is just the infusions, how that's correlating with the cocktail menu here. Super diverse, super fun, super cool, just from what I've seen. And did you wanna touch base on kind of segue in as far as uh, what you've been working with all that, you know, ultimately? Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, I think the fastest way to get a grasp on what we're doing is chasing flavor. Mm -hmm. And if you want good, clean, linear flavors, you go about it a different way than if you're looking for nuanced, complex flavor. Gotcha. Uh, in creating a cocktail, you a lot of times want to have like a vision of what your what your end result should be. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Finding the way to get there is where it gets really fun and a lot of times challenging. Yeah. So when you take the reins of infusing your ingredients. Mm -hmm. uh, say like a good example of this is uh, we have a, a drink on called the Alchemist Gold. Uh, yes. It's a cacao nib infused old fashioned. Mm -hmm. It's built around tropical profiles without trying to jump into being too sweet. Mm -hmm. uh, so we use a little bit Jafar, it's Eau de Brazil. It's like okay. a super premium banana liqueur. Oh, uh, gotcha, gotcha. And then we take raw cacao nibs mm -hmm. and we infuse those mm -hmm. to bourbon for a grand total of five wow, days. Wow, wow. Okay. So it's sitting in the alcohol. The ethanol is a solvent, so it's stripping the esters, fat, lipids, oils, everything it can from the cacao nib. So you're getting those beautiful chocolate profiles from the over roasted coffee beans. Got it. As well as a little bit of caffeine. Okay. And okay. the beautiful thing is it is an antioxidant as well. So it's not necessarily a bad thing for you. There's nothing artificial about it. Mm -hmm. And now I have subtle notes of that chocolate and cacao and coffee profiles in exactly. my bourbon. Awesome. So now the bourbon carries everything that I want. Mm -hmm. Now mm -hmm. finding the right amount in grams to put in, the time it needs to sit, and adjusting that ratio properly so that mm -hmm. we can batch something like that for a place of volume like this mm -hmm. is where it kind of gets challenging and fun. Sure. So sure. it's it's built to be a banana inspired chocolate old fashioned and then we cold smoke it with hickory smoke with a little bit of Angostura bitters and an espresso okay. of orange oil and then there's an edible gold dust in the glass. Okay. So when you hold it up to light like on the patio, mm -hmm. there's actually a shimmer that comes through and the entire oh. glass sparkles. I guess just kind of a fun way to bring an old fashioned new life. Yeah. And yeah. that's where a lot of that'll come from. We have our first one. This is our Alchemist Bowl. Jay, this is gonna be for you. We might as well double fist this one. This is a drink off my original fall menu called Two Forage or Not. Why am I going home? <laughs> <laughs> It's 
My man. What do we got, brother? We have our first one, which comes with its own custom-made tarot card. Oh, I love it. This is a cocktail that's based it. on our rotation of the Zodiac calendar. Got it. It is a conch shell in the inspiration of like a rift daiquiri. And then this is a dehydrated blackberry sugar. Oh, we just wow. want a light sprinkling of this over the top. You're just going to get some like light aromatics from that. So it's a finely graded dehydrated blackberry sugar to go with okay. the spiced blueberry syrup. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the Cancer cocktail, so it's designed to represent the water sign. And as the crab as its main sign, the hermit crab would use these conch shells as a basin. So we thought it was kind of a fun, fluid way Very to do cool. that. And then these are really fun little volume cards that go with them. So each of the series in the Zodiac has one of those. Mm -hmm. And it changes every month. And these drinks are only available during the sign of the astrological position of the stars. This is going to be a very beautiful little croquette. So the croquettes are a great shareable item. Uh, they are going to be breaded and flash fried as a gluten free option, which is really cool. It oh, allows okay. people to get something that has that texture and profile yeah. that's a little harder to chase. Uh, right now, we are doing a uh, potato and mushroom with a truffle aioli. So you have a lot of the really vibrant, beautiful profiles coming through that like fungi neighborhood of the flavor profile. Got it. So I think the croquettes for me are one of my favorite dishes because they're small enough, but they have so much flavor to them. But you'll have to be the judge yeah. of that. I'm at the taste, bro. <laughs> Excellent. All right, awesome digging in. So we got the Zodiac cocktail here, a very seasonal inspired drink with my tarot card as well. I'm going to check this out after I've had a couple drinks of this just to kind of <laughs> soften the blow of the result of my, my tarot card here. And the croquettes uh, look beautiful. They look delicious. So let me dig in here. I'm going to sample these bad boys. Oh, yeah. Nice and flaky. I'm gonna continue my trend on the show, consistently talking with my mouth full. Very rude, but I feel like I need to describe it as it's taking place, but mm. very crunchy, yet soft on the inside. Very complimentary flavors. Mm. With just the mushrooms, et cetera, et cetera. <clears throat> That's very good. That's very good. All right, let me um, sample this bad boy. Delicious. This is very clean. For, for making the assumption with the berry influence and those notes, you would think that it's going to be very sugary or sweet, and uh, it's actually not. It's it's got the fruit notes, the flavors, um, but doesn't have that like over sugary taste. And I, I really don't like that. I'm not like a sweet sugary person. But no, this is delicious. I kind of want to like drink it out of the shell. Let me see what I get. One moment here. Mm. It actually works really well. <laughs> it's like my slushy slip and slide, bro. Mm. Delicious. And a great presentation. Let's see what we got here. Ooh, cancer. And theme of the drink. I'm not the one to appropriately interpret this card, but I'm assuming that it wants me to enjoy my cocktail and my croquette, so I feel pretty, feel pretty good about it. <laughs> So 
why don't you tell everybody, uh, if they don't know you already, where they can find you guys, brick and mortar, social media, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, actually, it's a, a good point. A lot of our menu drops and everything that we kind of put out is going to be built around Instagram. Okay. Uh, it's a great way for people to find food and drink because it's yes. very image-based. Uh, so our Instagram is going to be Alchemist Garden CA. Okay. Uh, it's a California-based, so we want to make sure that it's easy for people to find and see. Mm -hmm. Every time we're doing upcoming events, when we do our Zodiac menu, because we have an entire rotation of drinks based on astrological awesome. star positioning, yeah, awesome. and it's only available during those times. Okay. Those are all dropped on, on Instagram. Kill it. Uh, Facebook will be the same. It's the Alchemist Garden right here in Paso Robles. And uh, the brick and mortar is located on the corner of Pine Street mm -hmm. and 12th, uh, 1144 Pine to be specific. Uh, so we're down the street from like Pappy McGregor's, we're right next to the little boutique. Street side is Caddy Corner from us. So it's, uh, you can't it's pretty it. you easy can't to find it. once you get into the heart of downtown. We're uh, pretty centrally located. We couldn't ask for a better location. It's killer. Oh, that's killer. Definitely right. stoked on that. Well, we'll be frequently here much more often. Well, good. <laughs> to say the least. But brother, no, I, I mean, I appreciate it. I'm excited for you guys. I love the place. Come and check them out if you haven't already. I mean, just amazing offering. So thanks for having us, brother. Cool. Thanks, Jack. And see you guys soon.